dehydration, as I've indicated, impacts overall wellness. And I want to read the top of this, um, you know, the, the top portion of this slide very clearly. Even mild dehydration can affect every part of your body from your gut to your brain. You know, again, it doesn't have to be chronic dehydration, even this fact that your body is slightly dehydrated. Let's keep in mind from an overall wellness perspective, most of you do, those of you that follow, you know, holistic methods of health, you know that most, most um, chronic issues or diseases or problems within the body stem from your gut health. Your gut is, the, is kind of the conduit to the health of the rest of your body. When your gut is inflamed, problems ensue. Likewise with your brain. When your brain is, um, when your brain is not getting the oxygen and the water, and, the, and, and remember I told you it's a primarily an organ made of water. If it's not hydrated, again, you start to have the things that come along as the slide continues over time, when it, if it becomes chronic dehydration, you have many more compl complications that can arise. Fatigue, joint pain, headaches, ulcers, high blood pressure, all can be you know, potential maladies that occur by being chronically dehydrated. Hello, let's get drinking. <laughs> that's my whole, that's my mission here. Um, and again, as we continue to talk about how it impacts overall, overall wellness, and I have the, you know, the picture on the slide of an aging body. Um, repeated bouts of dehydration, chronic dehydration can cause urinary tract infections. Those of us in the elder care space, this is a common, a common um, thing that is the first thing we test for when we see a change in condition with the elders that we're serving. Urinary tract infection, also known as UTI, it is the first thing across the board that we test for by simply taking a urine sample of an elder when we see increased confusion, when there is lack of appetite, when there is a more unsteady gait in their movements. It does signify often, more often than not, that there is something going on and it tends to always come back to being dehydrated. So repeated bouts of dehydration can not only cause the urinary tract infections, but kidney stones and even kidney failure. There is even in the extreme cases, it can lead to seizures or low blood volume shock, which the, the, you know, the diagnostic term for low blood volume shock is hypovolemic shock, which unfortunately can be deadly, all because we are chronically dehydrated. Again, I say, let's get drinking. 